Second Samuel chapter 8, the King James Version. Like I said, we are continuing on to read the Word of God. So grab your Bibles, flip the page, come on. Just prepare your ears on your heart. As the Word comes forth, meditate on it. And let the Holy Spirit minister. Second Samuel chapter 8, it says, And after this, it came to pass that David smote the Philistines and subdued them. And David took Methigama out of the hand of the Philistines. And he smote Moab and measured them with a line, casting them down to the ground, even with two lines measured he to put to death and with one full line to keep alive. And so the Moabites became David's servants and brought gifts. David smote also Hadadezer, the son of Rehob, king of Zobah, as he went to recover his border at the river Euphrates. And David took from him a thousand chariots <laughs> and seven hundred horsemen and twenty thousand footmen. <laughs> and David, who all the chariot horses and reserved of them for a hundred chariots. And when the Syrians of Damascus came to Sukkar, Hadad king of Zobah, David slew of the Syrians two and twenty thousand men. Mm. Then David put garrisons in Syria of Damascus, and the Syrians became servants of David and brought gifts. And the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. And David took the shield of the shields of gold that were on the servants of Hadadezer and brought them to Jer Jerusalem, and from Betha and from Berothai, cities of Hadadezer, King David took exceeding much brass. When Toy, king of Hamath, heard that David had smitten all the hosts of Hadadezer, mm, then Toy sent Joram, his son, unto King David to salute him and to bless him because he had fought against Hadadezer and smitten him. For Hadadezer had wars with Toy, and Joram brought with him vessels of silver and vessels of gold and vessels of brass, mm. <laughs> mm. which also King David did de dedicate unto the Lord with the silver and gold that he had dedicated of all nations which he subdued of Syria and of Moab and of the children of Ammon and of the Philistines and of Amalek and of the spoil of Hadadezer son of Rohab king of Zobah and David got him a name when he returned from smiting of the Syrians in the Valley of Salt, being 18,000 men. And he put garrisons in Edom throughout all Edom, but he garrisons. And all they of Edom became David's servant. And the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. And David reigned over all Israel. And David executed judgment and justice unto all his people. And Joab, the son of Zeruiah, was over the host. And Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahilod, was recorder. And Sadok, the son of Ahitab, and Amalek, the son of Abiathar, were the priest. And Sirahiah was the scribe. And Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was over both the Cherithites and the Pelitites. And David's sons were chief rulers. Thus ends the reading of 2 Samuel chapter 8. So all these gifts, these rulers are bringing gifts to David and David 
as king is blessed of the Lord. And he has been establishing also his government. Mm. There it is. There it is. He's established his government. Those that are ruling with him, including his sons. They were the chief rulers. We must continue on. So we will continue on my next Bible reading post. Will be 2 Samuel chapter 9. Thank you again for reading the word of God with me. Stay blessed, everybody. Let's go back in and meditate on this word and see what's in store for us from this word. Stay blessed.